Nicole Dixie here. Today I want to tell you about my five favorite backpacking meals. Basically anything you take backpacking could be a backpacking meal, right? But what I mean is the freeze-dried or dehydrated meals that come pre-prepared, pre-packaged, and are ready to go. And the convenient thing about these meals is you don't have much cleanup. So you just boil water, pour the water into the packets with the food, allow the food time to rehydrate, and then you stir it and chow down. They are also lightweight and a lot of times they have meat in them. So you have additional protein and you're not limited to the traditional things like peanut butter or jerky or other forms of protein that hikers usually go to because they don't have that freeze dried meat that will last for a while. Now, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, it doesn't mean that there aren't backpacking meals that you can eat. They still do have several options for vegans and vegetarians, but for me personally, eating meat, you know, I do like the convenience of these and that I don't have to worry about the meat spoiling or, you know, getting sick of the same protein sources. Also, these meals have a lot of flavor, so it feels like I'm eating a real meal. <laughs> it feels like, you know, the closest thing that I can get to town food, so they really are kind of a delicacy on the trail. With all of the convenience and good flavor, of course, is going to come a price. So these meals are relatively expensive when it comes to food that folks will take backpacking. Each of these meals will probably cost you somewhere between five to twelve dollars depending on where you get it from. And if you're getting these meals in some of the smaller towns that have learned to capitalize on backpackers coming through, the price may be a little bit higher than you know if you buy it ahead of time. So this might be something that's worth buying in bulk and mailing to yourself in a resupply box down the road somewhere if you're planning to do a long distance backpacking trip. Now this is not something that you have to have to go backpacking. Again, I said it's like a delicacy, you know, this is like the finest of the finest food, in my opinion, that you can get on trail without dehydrating or preparing your own meals and fixing them out on the trail. So when I say I'm going to talk about my five favorite meals, you know, what am I looking for in a meal? A lot of people will consider calories or maybe even how much water something takes to rehydrate, especially if you're in a desert or drier section of trail. Uh, some folks will look into how much does this food weigh uh, versus, you know, the calories and the protein. I don't really get caught up in mathematics of food while I'm hacking, um, but women do tend to lose a little less weight. You know, you will drop down to a point, but guys usually have to worry about that a little bit more than girls on an extended backpacking trip like a through hack or you know something that exceeds a few weeks probably. But really what I look for is the taste because if I have some food in my pack that I'm just sick of or you know I calculated the most calories per dollar or calories per ounce of food you know I, it's not necessarily the thing that I really want to put in my mouth and eat and after you do that for weeks and weeks and weeks on end um, it just finally gets to a point where I might have it in my pack and not want to eat it. So is it really doing me any good in the end? And if I was concerned about weight or something like that, as far as losing too much weight, then I could always add calories by pouring in some olive oil or just packing some additional snacks. But when I sit down to eat a meal at dinner time, a warm, wonderful meal, then these are the five things that I want the most. Number five is Mountain House Biscuits and Gravy. And not only is it just any gravy, this is like pork, sausage gravy, the closest thing I think that you could get to like grandma's biscuits and gravy, go figure, I'm from the south, so I would like this. And I know some of y'all are thinking, now Dixie, this is a breakfast meal. Yes, it is. And sometimes I'll eat it for breakfast, but sometimes I'll also eat it for dinner. That's a wonderful thing about backpacking is you can do what you want when you want. So if you wanted to have Skittles for dinner or biscuits and gravy, it's really up to you. My favorite thing about the biscuits and gravy is that you know, you'd think something that's got some kind of bread in it would be like all mushy and it would just be kind of a sloppy mess, but the biscuits actually retain some of their crunchiness. So just being able to have that gravy texture on top of biscuits that again are kind of crunchy-ish, you know, it's just, it's really good for a backpacking meal. Number four is packet gourmet with polenta sausage. We're talking Italian corn polenta with breakfast sausage crumbles and garlic herbed Parmesan cheese. This meal has a really good flavor and it's just something a little different. I mean, like 
who, who eats stuff like this on trail? It is a little bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy stuff, it might not be your cup of tea. And also it has fewer calories than any of the other meals I'm gonna talk about today. So if you're gonna have something like this, I'd recommend maybe throwing in some tortilla or some kind of chips, you know, just to add a little bit of calories to it. Or you could probably even mix in a packet of mashed potatoes with this. That would, that would probably be really good. Number three is Mountain House Spaghetti with Meat Sauce. While you're on trail and backpacking, and exerting all that energy, it really is nice in the evenings to have carbs and meat for dinner. And just to kick it up a notch and add some more calories, it actually adds 80 calories, I throw in a cheese stick. And so you got that good spaghetti sauce with some cheesiness from the cheese stick and it is just really good. Where'd that cheese stick at? There it is. Mm -mm. Number two is Packet Gourmet Texas State Fair Chili. This is ranch chili with beef, red beans, and smoked peppers. What I love about this meal so much, other than just the chili is fantastic, is that it comes with some toppings. So you get corn chips, some sprinkle cheese, and some Texas peat hot sauce. Now the chili alone is a little spicy even without the Texas peat sauce. So if you're not into spicy foods, this might also be one that you want to avoid. Uh, but it really is nice just to have so much flavor on trail. And then being able to add those toppings and stuff. I think this one actually is the closest meal I've had to like a real meal in town, but while backpacking. And number one is Mountain House lasagna and meat sauce. There's not necessarily anything super fancy about this lasagna. It just tastes really good. And this is another one of those meals that I like to add cheese sticks to. I mean, honestly, most of the backpacking meals I mentioned today, except maybe the biscuits and gravy, would taste good uh, with a cheese stick added to it. You can add one, you can add two. I mean, in my opinion, you really can't get too much cheese. Um, but this meal is just one that I never got sick of. I could eat this one for dinner two times in a row and, you know, I, I, I wasn't upset about it. Now, I do try to rotate out the meals that I eat because I don't ever want to get sick of them, but this is one that I ate probably the most on the CDT and I'm, I'm still not sick of it, which on a six month backpacking trip is really saying something. I know I only covered two brands of backpacking meals, which is Mountain House, uh, but one of the perks of the Mountain House meals is in addition to the flavor and everything else is that they will last forever. So it's something that you can bulk up on you know, get, get several of them and you don't have to worry about them expiring before your next backpacking trip. I think one of the ones I have at my house right now expires in like 2040 something. And then the packet gourmet meals, like you probably saw from the two that I mentioned today, they just have a lot of variety. You know, it's just different stuff and, and not something that you would necessarily think you could be sitting on trail and eating. But some of the other brands that I have enjoyed on trail are Paleo Meals To Go, which I think might be called Wild Zora Paleo Meals To Go now. Uh, but with those meals, you are getting a lot more vegetables. And when I cooked, you know, some of the meals with broccoli, for example, or other vegetables, it just seemed like a good uh, quality meal and good quality food. I will say with the Paleo Meals To Go, in my opinion, they lacked a little bit in flavor as far as the spices, but you could probably pack out some additional spices, maybe some Montreal steak or something like that to sprinkle in there and really kind of kick it up a notch. And then Backpackers Pantry is also a popular brand. And for those of y'all who are vegetarian or vegan, you might want to check out some of the stuff that Harmony House has. But I would say that some of those uh, were kind of like the paleo meals to go in the way that I felt like they could use a little bit extra in spices. All right, y'all, well, that's all I have for you today. Those are my five favorite backpacking meals to take with me on the trail. I would love to hear if you've tried these and you agree and you like them, or if you don't like them and why, or what your favorite backpacking meals are in the comments, because I'm always open to trying a new brand or new type of backpacking meal, because that's like the favorite topic of hackers, right, is, is eating, is food. So anyway, feel free to share all of that in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching today, and we will see y'all next time.